Lorenz, Jeff Flaherty, Jack Curry with you. Game one of four between the Yanks and the Blue Jays. And the Blue Jays win it three to nothing. And Jack, the Yankees coming up with some of those empty at-bats and some of those at-bats where they couldn't come through when they had opportunities to cash in. Right, it was a dismal night for them offensively. And Alec Manoa was the main reason why. We talked a lot about offense on our pregame show. But we also talked about how Manoa can be an intimidating presence, an aggressive pitcher, and a pitcher who has already shown in his short career that he is going to go after hitters and that's exactly what he did tonight six scoreless innings against the Yankees they were 0 for 7 against his fastball they were also hitless against his slider Coney just mentioned a lot of swings and misses the only time the Yankees did have a hint of offense against him was because of three walks that loaded the bases and then he broke Stanton's bat to get out of that inning so just a dominant pitching performance for the 24 year old yeah it's ironic that we talked in the pregame show about the Toronto Blue Jays and their lineup how they can slug how they can do damage it was pitching and defense tonight you think about the seventh inning the double play with Donaldson that was swiftly turned you think about the third inning with Bichette making the play on Stan the ball that he got jammed and it was pitching and defense tonight Manoa is a guy that we talked about has got to take it to the next level I didn't expect him to go six innings was first start of the year he protected that bullpen for Toronto that might be a little suspect they were a little shaky in the seventh inning but the defense for the Blue Jays picked them up. That and George Springer, the difference in the game. Yeah, you know